Hey everybody and welcome to the second page of assignment M. It's on page 138. So we'll talk briefly how to do these problems. For uh, numbers 1 through 6 we are to determine whether MN and RS are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Okay. For number 1 we need to find the slope between MN and RS. For MN the slope will be 4 minus 3 over 2 minus 0. And that gives us a slope of 1 half. For RS, the slope can be found by taking 4 minus 1 over 8 minus 2. And that gives us a slope of 3 over 6. 3 over 6 reduces to 1 half. So looking at these two slopes, we got a slope of 1 half and a slope of 1 half. They're the same slope. Same slope means they are parallel. If you want, you can do the little parallel symbol instead of writing the word. Okay, let's do number two. Again, MN. We've got to find that slope. 5 minus 3 over 0 minus negative 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. 0 minus negative 1 is actually positive 1. So we have 2 over 1 is that slope. For RS, slope is negative 1 minus 1 all over 6 minus 2. That slope is going to be a negative 2 over 4, which reduces to negative 1 over 2. How do you compare 2 over 1 to negative 1 over 2? Well, they are called opposite reciprocals. They're also negative reciprocals. And when you have negative reciprocal slopes, you know you are dealing with perpendicular lines. So for number two, we're definitely perpendicular. If you want, instead of writing the word out, you can abbreviate, or the perpendicular symbol is an upside down T. Okay, let's do number three. The slope between M and N, four minus three over four minus negative one and that has a slope of 1 over 5. So there's MN. RS, 2 minus 1 over negative 2 minus 3. 1 over negative 5. Now, they're not the same, so we know they're not parallel, and nor are they opposite reciprocals. So 1 5 and negative 1 5 are just simply opposites. They are neither parallel nor perpendicular. All right, and then you do the same thing on 4, 5, and 6. Now, on um, 7, 8, 9, 10, find the slope of line MN and the slope of any line perpendicular to it. Okay, that's not a problem. We will just find the slope here. Negative 1 minus negative 4 over negative 2 minus 2. Negative 1 minus negative 4 is really negative 1 plus 4, which gives me a 3. And negative 2 minus, neg minus 2 is a negative 4. So our slope is to negative 3 fourths, and they also want us to find perpendicular to that. So the perpendicular slope, or perpendicular m, flip the fraction, change the sign. Positive 4 thirds. So you just find the slope, flip the fraction, change the sign. So you have two answers for 7, 8, 9, 10. And there you go.